Karoski here and I welcome you to your first Commodore Basic tutorial. I think this is also known as Pet Basic but I'm not 100% sure. But people know, people recognize what you're saying if you say Commodore Basic. Back then when computers were early Basic was a very popular programming language and most computers had it and Commodore 64 is an example. And this is specifically targeting the basic on Commodore 64. And if you look at the top, it says Commodore 64 Basic Version 2. Um, this is what a real Commodore 64 would say, but I'm emulating it so I can record it. So, but if you're using a regular Commodore 64, this still should work just fine. So the first, there's a whole bunch of these little commands. And the first one we're going to use is print. Print is used for writing something on the screen. Now, if you're using, um, if you're using the emulator, you may notice if you hold Shift, your characters look weird. This is because there's no lowercase on this Commodore 64, so everything's uppercase. That's just how it is. There's no lowercase, so don't hold Shift or have caps lock on while typing. Um. And to type, and some keys might be different. Like for me, to put a, if I try to put a quotation mark, I get that. So for me to get a quotation mark, I hold shift and press 2. So yeah, that's a little different, but it's just because the original Commodore 64 keyboards aren't the same as the keyboard we're using today. So if you're using an emulator to um, easily go along with this, it's you might have to use shift 2 to get a quote. So, print is used for writing things on the screen. If I say print, quote, hel whoops, hello world, end quote, it's going to say hello world back. If I say print 5, it's going to say 5. If I say print 5 plus 5, see, f for me to type a plus, I have to press minus, and I get a plus. 5 plus 5 is going to say 10. If I say print in quotes 5 plus 5, I'm going to get 55. The reason is because strings are text, and when you want a string, you put them in quotes. So if we add two strings together, 5, 5, it just reads them as text, so it puts them by each other, so it's 55. But if we don't put them in quotes, they're considered numbers, and they're just added. 5 plus 5 is 10. So, um, next I'm going to show you how to, this is something that's pretty useful how to clear the screen. You want to print CHR dollar sign, and for me to get an open bracket and a closed bracket, I will use shift 8 and shift 9. And that gets me an open bracket and a closed bracket. But you, the CHR dollar sign function is used to return characters based on their value like their numbers like their ASCII um, but what we want is 147 and then a close bracket which is shift 9 and if we print the character 147 it will clear the screen that's how you clear the screen so that's useful for both for codes and I also want to introduce this line thing it's kind of imaginary lines but they're more of like positions in memory Basically, if you want to have more than one line of code, then just print high. You can put a zero and write print high, and then put a one and hit print. What? Where is that apostrophe? I don't know. Okay, what's? I'll just ignore it. What's up? And then two print. Okay, bye. And now, when we type, when we're done typing in our code, we push N. Now, when you type in Run, see how it does all the codes? Because this is how you want to code. You want to use zero, one, two, and all that for your lines. And say it says like print hi, what's up, bye. You type N. We type Run. It'll run all that. And if we type List, it'll bring back up all the code we've stored so far. See, print all that you know run runs it um how most people do it they don't just say zero one two like we did 
they'll go 0 print high, 5 or 10 print high, 20 print what's up, 30 print okay bye. The point is if you skip 10 each time, if you want to go back and add code, you got like 9 lines in between to add code. So the next thing we're going to, I've showed you list. And if you want to save it, you're going to write save and in quotes, um, let's say test.bas, comma, eight, comma, one. That will save it. Um, and if you're using the emulator and you want to save it to a specific place, just move your mouse to the top and click the file drop down list and just click, um, where is it? Just click basic save program then load later click load program. If you're using the actual Commodore 64 to load use load test.bas comma 8 comma 1 and that will load it up. It's not going to save and load properly on this thing. Um, that's really all there is for this um, video. I just want to show you simply how to put in code, like with um, how to run it, and how to save it and stuff like that. And the next tutorial, we're going to be doing more coding with variables and stuff.